All right, so hi, I'm Morris Rosenthal for phonerbooks.com, and this is the sound failure flowchart out of my book, Computer Repair with Diagnostic Flowcharts. And the idea with this flowchart is to help you figure out a, so a condition where you have no sound at all coming from the computer or the speakers without just arbitrarily swapping parts or, you know, breaking the thing by pounding on it. So we start right off with whether or not you get any non-beep out audio because beeps aren't actually produced by your computer speakers. They're produced by a little piezoelectric, a little sound making device right on the motherboard that's just enough to create a beep for like if you boot the computer up and it makes an I'm happy beep, I've passed my internal diagnostics or a repeating beep and no video comes on for video failure, anything like that is coming directly from the motherboard and if it does have audio other than beeps, you know, whether it's playing music or the windows rush when you turn on the computer or playing sounds off the internet, anything like that, you don't have a sound failure problem. You have some sort of performance problem with sound, and we shift you to the sound performance flowchart. Um, the next step is whether or not sound, assuming you don't have any sound, is sound enabled in the operating system, because if it's not, Windows isn't going to let you make sound. No, no operating system will let you make sound if you've turned off the ability to have sound. And you can do that by mistake, so it's important to check. Um, if you have external speakers, are they powered up separately? Almost all of them are powered up separately, unless they're USB speakers that are powered right from the port or battery powered. And we go through the steps. Is the volume dial turned up? Do you have the right sound driver loaded? Um, you, we're getting down to more hardware troubleshooting in here. Is device manager showing the sound device? Do you have any conflicts, etc.? But what I want to show you is, you know, you look at these decision symbols and you say best driver loaded. What the heck does that mean? I, I don't even know what a driver is. Well, this book is designed so as you move forward in the book, you see all of the decision points, the diamond symbols, are repeated in the margins of the book and they help you find the text that goes along with the, the particular decision you're trying to make. So just taking for the any, any non-beep audio, what we've already discussed, the, it reads, do you get any audio out of the PC other than beeps on power up? The beeps you hear on power up are not part of the PC's sound system, etc. It's not very exciting. We've done it already. Um, what I might do here is skip forward to the sound performance flow chart if we can find it. Oh, I should point out here you see this link in the margins is sometimes I link uh, and give an address for photographic procedures on on my phonerbooks.com website which are just generic. I mean if you have a computer hardware problem that you're to the point that you know you need to replace something and you don't know how to do it you should use Google and see if you can search for your exact system um, so, so that you're not looking at something and saying, well, this doesn't look like the computer that I'm taking apart, because uh, there's no reason for it. There's certainly plenty of illustrated uh, instructions online. So here is, I com combined sound performance with game controllers, because they used to be related on the old sound cards, and they're still common. Mm, it's not so much that, that they're related these days, because almost all uh, gaming sticks are going to be USB, but there is a relationship to the entertainment factor, so they fit together and they happen to fit on the same flowchart. But it brings you through all the various uh, sound problems. And one of the things I'll just point out before we close here is if you're having a sound problem with your PC and you can't figure out what it is and you don't want to open it up or you don't have any hardware ability and you just know that your sound card is no longer functioning, whether it's a standalone sound card or whether it's integrated on the motherboard which is the normal case these days and you generally don't want to replace your motherboard just to get sound what you can do is buy any USB sound device because USB whether it's sold as a USB sound card or USB speakers USB itself is just a digital interface it's not passing the sound out to the speakers it's talking directly to the computer through the driver so what happens when you add USB speakers or a USB microphone or a USB sound port or card as they'll call it is you've replaced the sound card <coughs> you've replaced the sound card in your computer with this USB device and as long as your USB port USB port works and the driver software is installed correctly it'll work 
So I'm Morris Rosenthal for Phoner Books, and I hope you either check out the book or come by the website. And some of these flowcharts are actually online in draft form on the website.